Gigi got a new toy today. It's a little fox that looks just like her. And she seems to be loving it. This is her office toy. That's her office bone. And she's been so good today. We also got her some new treats. Oh, you heard the word, huh? The vet said that treat training is the most effective for dogs, so we're giving it a shot. So far, so good. Of course, we got the chicken flavored. This is my masterpiece of a girl dinner tonight. I have leftover ribs that I made last night, some nachos, carrots and ranch, and grape juice. It's Betty time, and it's Gigi time. And she's in such a cuddly mood today. I'm just loving it. She was a bit of a terror yesterday, so maybe this is her making up for it. B has been calling her a menace, but she's not a menace. She's just a little baby. I'm headed home to see my baby girl. Where's your toy? No barking. Gigi. Gigi, where's your toy? Are you done playing? This is my outfit of the day today. I wore these pants yesterday. Cute little shoes. The top is from Levi's. Happy National Boyfriend Day. Since I do not have a boyfriend, I am my own boyfriend. I'm gonna cook some corn muffins for myself. Also, just look at my little gorgeous girly in my dirty clothes. What are you doing there, baby? You're so cute. These are not the most aesthetic muffins I've ever seen in my life, but I kind of fucked them up even though I just ate one. It tastes pretty good, except I had to use all of my butter for the recipe, so I didn't have any butter to put on the cornbread muffin, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take one to work with me, heat it up. I think it's gonna be rather enjoyable, even though aesthetically, it's not exactly what I was going for. And also I accidentally made the whole batch and I had to throw away half the batch because there's no way I need more than five, more than six technically, cause I already ate one, more than six muffins. Okay, Gigi, mama's gotta go to work. Mama's gotta go to work. It's Thursday. You stay home on Thursdays and Tuesdays. Okay? That's the deal. It's almost 11 a.m. I have been sitting on the floor for like, well, since nine, for a few hours, watching a stain dry, a stain door dry, because the owner isn't home, so they need someone from property management to make sure the person staying the door isn't doing anything shady, which I know they wouldn't, but still, for owner's peace of mind, that's what I'm here for, so it's still probably going to be another few hours. I'm just answering emails from my phone and doing what I can and, like, making some calls that I have been putting off because that's pretty much all I can do right now. We are on the way to the grocery store. I don't know if Gigi's allowed in, but... Whatever, I guess the only one way to find out because I need butter for my cornbread. I forgot to take it to work, but I would like to enjoy it tonight. This is a big win. She didn't bark, Gigi, by the way, that's who I'm talking about. Gigi didn't bark when I came home from work today, gave her a treat immediately. Then we went for a walk to the grocery store. She didn't bark at all on the walk, even though there was people, random people. Oh, hey baby. And she only barked twice to like get me to play with her. And then when she was done playing, she just picked up her bone and went to my feet and started chewing on her bone. And now she's ready to play again. So. We're gonna play cause she's being so good. Easy, gentle. My girl dinner tonight is carrots and ranch, cornbread muffins, and a little baby bell cheese. And I also have some Ruffles chips to dip in the ranch and I also have some grape juice and I also have my Stanley filled with water. Good morning, TGIF. No, you weren't being good. Every morning, it's basically like 50 first dates where she's Drew Barrymore and I'm Adam Sandler and 
she forgets that I hate barking every single morning, but by the end of the day, she does really good and she knows she gets a treat. A treat. Yeah, you get a treat when you're quiet. And she's totally fine by the end of the day, but every morning it's like she has to remember that we don't bark and quiet girls are the prettiest. I also forgot Excuse me. I also forgot her water dish and food at home. I took home her little carrier to replenish it and I did replenish it and then I forgot it on the counter. So that is kind of useless there. And I only had four emails when I came in today. What a lovely life. It's a Friday before a long weekend. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the pet store and pick her up a water dish. I looked around the office, there's nothing. We have water here obviously, but there's nothing to put it in that she could like get her little tongue in to get water. We went to the pet store and for lunch, she's having beef, potatoes, and carrots. And I am gonna have some cornbread muffins and then I also do you want to see what else you got I also got her this little water dish it's a radish how cute and last but certainly not least I got her a pumpkin spice dental chew and I'm gonna leave all of this stuff here I mean she's gonna finish her food probably in the next like five minutes but other than that I'm gonna leave the radish dish here so if we're in this pickle again where mama forgets, I'll have some water for you. I would like to say that she picked out the pumpkin spice dental chew all by herself. She's just like her mama, a basic fall girly. We're having a cuddle Friday night, watching Only Murders in the Building, and I ordered pizza and it was delicious. And I've got a face mask on. We're doing little face massages. Oh, so sweet, so nice. We're on our mid-afternoon walk. And it was going to be a little bit longer than the one we went on this morning. But it's starting to rain. And I'm just wearing a t-shirt and flip-flops. So, Gigi, I think we're going to turn around. We're going to turn around. This way will take us a lot. Hey, no barking. That way, oh, this way is going to take us a little bit less time to get home. We've only had one walk in the rain. Oh, are you loving it? Are you loving this? Come on. We have company coming. You have to be nice. <laughs> you have to be nice. Be friendly. Put on a friendly face. Janie came over to spend the afternoon and she just left, but she gave me my birthday present because I haven't seen her since my birthday. This is the card, so cute. And then look at these stickers. I'm not gonna share what she wrote. Obviously that's personal, but look at all these stickers. They're all gonna go on my record player, of course. Look at that. How well does this girl know me? She got me a Sol de Janeiro travel set. She's like, for when you go to Portugal, as if this is going to last me until May. I am literally out of body wash right now. So this is going in my shower for my shower tonight. So definitely not going to last until May, but I'm very excited about this. She also gave me these two cute little figurines and I can't remember what they're from or who they are, but it's the same girl, just in different outfits. Janie said she would just give them to me if she got duplicates. It's like a surprise box kind of thing, so now I've got two cute little figurines. She also got me two new crystals from Catalyst & Co. I know one of them is Agate or Agate, I never know how to say it, and then I forget what the other one is, but she read it to me, and it's for, like, protection. This is the card for the purple one, that one pause to read 
This one's kind of random, but she made a skims order for herself, and then these underwear came in it, and they're a 4X. They don't really look it. They look like a 1X, to be honest, but they're really stretchy. She didn't even try them on. She's just like, these aren't going to fit me, so she gave them to me. So now I have some skims undies to try. And the star of the show, as if all that wasn't enough, she got me this Taylor Swift-inspired getaway car hoodie from a shop on Etsy. I am obsessed. I'm going to wear this tomorrow and probably every day after that. It's so cute. Nothing good starts in a getaway car. This is the name of the Etsy shop if you are interested in getting your own. So nice. There's a code if you want, too. I guess I got to keep an elastic on my wrist so my hands don't get beaten up. More like eaten up. It's mine, baby. It's mine. For breakfast, I'm having day two leftover pizza. No, not for you. This is mine. I ordered pie. For Thanksgiving I know it's lemon shortbread but I wanted pie this weekend and um, it didn't really make it all in one piece so this is definitely going to be more of a crumble situation I don't know what it is about me and Gigi and Sundays but we do not mix we are not a trio that I enjoy being part of I don't know what it is because Saturdays are fine through the week is fine but on Sundays I would say every Sunday since I've gotten her we like argue i don't know how to explain it because she's a dog but like she does not listen to me at all like it's like mm, it's sunday actually <laughs> i don't have to listen to what you say so for my mental health i am taking i guess it's the evening off from being a dog mom and i'm gonna go thrifting by myself i set her up to be nice and comfy cozy for a few hours and it is very cold and rainy but you know what? I need to get out of the house or I'm going to go crazy because I also have tomorrow all day with her. And tomorrow everything is closed. So I have to make the most of it today. And actually, last Thanksgiving I did this too. I didn't have a dog last Thanksgiving. But if you know me, Thanksgiving is a very <laughs> hard holiday for me. I hate all long weekends. But specifically Thanksgiving is my worst. So I'm doing this for me. And I've got the camera on her, so I'll definitely keep checking it. But I need I need a few hours to myself. I can't tell if it's giving like oversized in a cute way or fashion. The sleeves are a little bit short, but everything else is nice. I don't know. I'm headed to my second value village now there's two like a 30 minute bus ride away so i went to the closest one first and i told myself if i don't find much there then i'll go to the other one and i didn't find much there i left the winter jacket because i just didn't need it i haven't done like a proper look through what i already have and it was a little bit big and the sleeves were a little short so i think i could just find something better but i'll think about it i'll think about it I am cold and I have to pee and Google Maps did me dirty and I'm not home yet. It's nine o'clock. I got off at the wrong stop. Well, no, I got off at the right stop, but Google Maps didn't direct me in the right direction when I got off. So I started walking in the wrong direction and it was like, yeah, good job, good job. But I was going in the wrong direction. So I added like another 10 minutes to my walk and it's already so cold. My nose is running. I'm gonna take like a little day quill when I get home or maybe a night quill and I'll sleep like a baby. But I gotta take Gigi out for a walk too. It's only nine, maybe I'll wait until like 10 to take her out. I'll warm up a bit and then I'll take her out. Sit. Good girl. I only got two things thrifting. This dress, mostly because 
It's a nice length, it's very flowy. I like the colors and it's got pockets. So those are all the positives. I'm not crazy about the neckline, but I don't know. It was $10, it's originally gel fresh and it's in a size 2X. Should I keep this? This one is the one I'm like, I think with some like black pantyhose and a pair of booties, it could look really cute. But I also don't know. And maybe I just look really frumpy. The only other thing I got thrifting was this navy blue silky skirt for $12 in a size XL. It's from the brand Our Label. I've never heard of them before, but I think I look really good in this skirt. So it's definitely a keep for me. I don't know when I will have the opportunity to wear it. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe a Christmas party or something. I think there's a lot of potential here that is unlocked, styling wise. So that is everything I got thrifting and I will see you next week. Betty Pies!